Okay. So to clarify and reiterate, someone just asked me if you download a file off of online, can you customize it and edit it um, as to how you like it? And to answer that question, you'll have to get into something called the different file types. So Autodesk Inventor is only one software for CAD. There are a multitude of other um, CAD softwares like SolidWorks is super popular, Fusion 360 made by the same company, um, there's CreoCAD, there's a lot of different other CADs. So that means every single um, every single software has their own optimized file types. For example, if you think about Google, Google has Google Drive. So their files save um, dot .docs, they have dot .pbts compared to Microsoft, which has D, um, dot .docx compared to dot .doc. And then for PowerPoint, it has dot .pptx um, compared to dot .ppt, um, which you would get from Google Slides. So same concept for Inventor. So if you look um, here, and then you'll see that these are all the types of files that Autodesk supports. So the native files would obviously be .ipt and .iam, um, which stands for Autodesk Inventor Parts and Assemblies, but there's also a lot of other files like um, .dwg. When you download a file off of online, especially if you're downloading it from a, like robotics retailer, um, the file ending will be .step. So it'll be a step file. Step file, it's like a universal um, file type if you want to transfer files in between Autodesk, um, Inventor, and like Fusion 360 or Autodesk Inventor and SolidWorks. What you would normally do is you would go here to file, um, you, would, um, you would export, and then you can choose the, um, the CAD format, right? So um, as you can see here, you can convert it to a step if you want to share it to someone who has a different file type. So getting back into the file types and answering that student's question. Oh, um, she's here. Okay, getting back into the um, question, um, if you have a dot, if um, you, when you download the file um, and, and you open it in Autodesk Inventor, if it's the same type of file, like for example, if it's a dot IPT or a dot, I, dot IAM, yes, you can download it and you can edit it and customize it to yourself. But um, contrastingly, if it's a dot step file instead and it's one of those universal file types, you cannot, you cannot customize it. Does that make sense? So basically what I'm saying is if it is a .i um, or .ipt for Autodesk Inventor um, and it's the same file type and it's optimized for Autodesk, when you download it, you can, um, you can edit it. Otherwise, if you just download it off the web, it's probably going to be a .step file. And in that case, you can't edit it. 